Well, there you have it, the find of the day. Or actually yesterday, but anyways, yeah. I've already went ahead and cleared out cleaned out some of the items here, but yeah. Start with the shell right here. It's a shrapnel shell. 75 millimeter and it's all mouth is deformed but it's still in pretty good condition. Some of the serial numbers are still legible. I can see it's 817S with a circle around it. And this S in the center of that and uh, 13 and some sort of symbol around the rim. But yep, my 16th shell. And there's a little fragment, not much there. A little disc piston thing that goes inside of the bottom of that. And you can see I got a couple of those. But yeah, a little flash tube. And a bunch of little shrapnel balls. And so yeah, if, you know, if you're near the east side and all that, you know, you probably would think this is a musket ball, but it's close, but um, these are little shrapnel balls. And I think there's two different sizes. One's like 51 caliber and one is like 60 something, I don't know, something like that. But yeah, so the larger ones tend to deform more and the smaller ones are tend to stay intact as you can see like you can see this one just like hit a probably hit a rock or something but yeah and here's the fuse adapter and the base of the fuse so it's just a little brass thing and the core section is missing along with the dials and all that but still pretty cool and uh, I'm not sure if this camera can pick up the, the little engravings, but uh, there's the model number, uh, model 1907M, and the uh, lot number 29G-A-109-17. Cool. And that's the part that broke off right there. But anyways, yeah. So here's the segment of rotating band that no, I haven't cleaned out yet but yeah and this is the section that I cleaned it off so turned out pretty nice and size wise it's, it's perfect so it probably might belong to this one but yeah and also there's a string symbol right there I'm not sure if you can see it or not I'm not exactly sure what it is and uh, sort of looks like two, except there's a another like a tail coming off the top. But yeah, I don't know. That was pretty cool. Oh, and uh, well, I'm not sure if I if you remember, but I said in the video that this band might belong to that. Well, it turns out this band is quite large. I have one example here. This is another 75 millimeter shell with the band intact. And well, you can clearly tell the band is much wider and it's bigger, I guess. So I said, hmm, that's weird. Then I went back into the inventory. And well, apparently I do have parts of larger shell. So probably this belongs to one of these guys right here. So yeah, you get, this is the fuse adapter for that larger shells you can clearly tell you know although it's spread out or open you can still tell the size difference between these things and I mean gosh you know that is pretty cool like a big brother of it so yeah maybe I'll be able to find an actual shell for this thing and determine what you know caliber it is so I guess I'll just keep looking around so thanks for watching